world activities cannot be overstated. And on this topic and the significance of summer camps, we're delighted to be joined over the phone by Ms. Abla Al Azra, a parenting expert and teens coach. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. Well, uh, would you tell us more uh, the, about the significance of summer camps uh, and its uh, importance in uh, children's lives uh, to get away uh, for a while of uh, the being glued to their uh, mobile screens all the time? Uh, yes, sure, of course. Well, no, starting by the word, the word summer camp. Summer camps here in Egypt are differ. Uh, summer camp, day camp, or a camp where they travel. So we're going to discuss bo both aspects. Um, normal summer day summer camps is where children go uh, daily from Sunday to Thursday in a camp, in a school or a nursery, or any facility that offers um, um, a wide range of um, facilities to use, like football courts, pools, uh, multimedia classrooms, so that kids can entertain and also take educational workshops to help them with their uh, social skills and, um, and, and according to the camp, whether they are social camps or sports camps or science camps, mm -hmm. uh, according to the parents how they choose their camp, and we can discuss the aspects of choosing the, the camp later. Mm -hmm. uh, and these, these camps, they, these day camps, it's a little bit like the school day, the school life, where children go from 8 to 4 or from 9 to 3, according to the camp and they enjoy the day uh, with lots of games and fun and still work in, an cre in a creative environment where, where they learn hands-on. Mm -hmm. um, on the other hand, there's the other camps where they travel for two or three days overnight um, and these camps usually are during weekends. Uh, during the summer for a couple of days, um, both camps, whether day camps or travel camps, really affect the children's social skills. Mm -hmm. uh, in your uh, opinion, great, go ahead. Lala uh, In your opinion, how do summer camps contribute to a child's overall development? Well, actually, um, it really, really makes a difference in their social skills, in their self-confidence, um, uh, what else, in their cognitive skills, um, Usually, children are glued to their screens during the summer. During the school days, the routine uh, limits their screen time uh, due to lessons and school and so on. And caregivers or parents uh, don't struggle in limiting the screen time. During the summer, they are glued to their screens, and this affects them physically, emotionally, cognitively. When they, are, when they go to summer camps all day long, this limits the screen time. Mm -hmm. and hence limit the negative effects of screen, whether it will actually research shows that screen leads to aggression uh, and addiction. They are addicted to the, to the endorphins from watching the, uh, yani, um, quick movies. Um, uh, their sleep patterns are affected due, uh, due to the, the blue light affects their sleep, uh, to the sleep hormones. Mm -hmm. uh, limiting the screen time during the summer really affects their well-being, mm -hmm. physically and emotionally. On the other hand, on the long term, it really affects their independence, their creativity, their resilience, because they are engaged in lots of activities that, um, that are very creative, um, high-paced. Uh, um, all those activities really affect them by time, whether it's a week camp or they attend all the summer, it really affects their personality by time. Yeah. Well, uh, with children increasingly spending time on their mobile screens, how do summer camps help in decreasing screen time and uh, promoting physical activity? Well, most of the summer camps limit the screens. Oh, actually, they prevent taking their phones with them. Most camps do not allow children or campers to have their phones, whether they are day camps or travel camps. Uh, mm -hmm. this, is, this itself is limiting their, uh, their screen time. Mm -hmm. uh, second thing is that they really go home exhausted or tired yeah. from the outdoor activities because actually during camps they play a lot and then they do the reflection on their games to enhance their skills. Uh, it really takes their time, their energy, 
And when they go home, they already have their, own, their daily routine of uh, exercises, uh, trainings they do. Um, it will help them sleep well. Um, just walk, waking up early in the morning will, um, will limit their taking all li a night long on the, um, on the screens. It's like a screen detox. Mm -hmm. What skills do children develop uh, through summer camps that they might not get uh, from their digital uh, interactions uh, from mobile screens or their laptops or computers? Uh, well, they, they develop leadership skills, uh, communication, collaboration, adaptability. It's not their school uh, or their comfort zone. They are meeting new people, which will make them try to adapt. Uh, to, um, to, the new, uh, to the new people around them. Uh, leadership skills, because most of the games need collaboration. Um, it's not a one-man uh, so one, one show to play. You, if you have to win, you have to collaborate with the team. Mm -hmm. So mostly it's team, the team building leads to resilience, leadership, uh, uh, creativity, problem-solving skills. All those skills, are limited during the school time because you have so much time dedicated to academics uh, and the time dedicated to uh, a student's well-being or uh, uh, it's it really uh, during the school time they really care about academics and happiness but actual character building uh, and affecting the skills it needs time and training not available during school time. Mm -hmm. Uh, can you share any stories or examples of uh, children who have significantly benefited from attending uh, summer camps and summer schools? Uh, well, I really remember a girl. We had a program uh, for teens from uh, 12 to 15. It was a leadership program uh, training them on emotional intelligence and teaching them to deal with other younger children to work in other camps. Uh, and one of the girls said something that really affected my, yani, me and uh, touched my heart. She told me, I, um, in my school, I felt neglected, uh, bullied. I was not accepted from my peers. Mm -hmm. But I, 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 um, uh, what I experienced here is knowing that I really matter, I can make a difference, and my self-confidence uh, is much, uh, much, much better. Mm -hmm. um, her words really touched my heart, and when the mother um, communicated with us a couple of months later, she told us that um, this experience really affected her interaction at school. She was not uh, uh, as um, sensitive or, uh, to other people bothering her, and her increased self-confidence made her have lots of uh, other friends. So, uh, mm -hmm. Actually, sometimes summer camps are life-changing. Mm -hmm. Uh, what types of activities are usually offered in summer camps uh, and how do these activities support a child's growth? Uh, well, uh, if you take a normal day, people, uh, children have indoor and outdoor activities. If you start with the outdoor activities, they have uh, football, uh, dancing, uh, uh, lots of um, ball games from dodgeball and capture the flag. They go to the pool, uh, they mix. There's lots of games that are strategic games where they uh, play together so that they win the other team or the competition. And to win, they have to think together and work as a team. Those games are done outdoors. And there are other indoor things is like arts and crafts, uh, cooking, uh, um, business. And according to the camp, there are camps where they offer science projects or uh, coding and uh, computer uh, uh, an art camp where they should learn fashion design. Uh, mm -hmm. There are entrepreneurship camps where they teach them to do their own projects mm -hmm. or their own projects and sell them. So there's lots of different camps with different specialities, but mainly the children play outdoors and the indoors thing is a mix of art, cooking, and the camp speciality of character education or coding or science. Uh, and I love the fashion idea. It's been working in Cairo for the past couple of years also. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, um, uh, what long-term impacts can attending summer schools have on uh, child development and child growth? Well, we're talking about social skills, emotional intelligence, independence, creativity, resilience. 
all of those skills really uh, actually help them in their uh, practical life, more than the academics. Uh, will help them in during university, where they start um, uh, working on academics and their social life in the university and the clubs there. Um, it will affect their growth, um, handling problems, handling other people. Um, it, it is really effective. Great, uh, Dr. Abdel Al Azra, uh, parenting expert and uh, teens coach. Uh, thank you so much for your insight. And dear viewers, with this, we come to the end of this edition of Car Local Time. Many thanks for watching and stay tuned for more coming up here on Nazi International.